In this episode, we're looking for big fish in shallow water, and it's coming up on Fly Fish University TV. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fly Fish University TV. My name is Jordan Ulrich, and today we are going to look for big fish in shallow water. But first, I'm gonna share a couple things in my pre-fishing routine at this stage of my life. Things like making sure I don't forget important things like water, making sure that this guy stays out of trouble, <laughs> packing my daughter a healthy lunch for preschool. The morning went pretty smooth. Only had to change two diapers. It's Monday, it's sunny, it's beautiful, and it's time to fish. I'm definitely not the first one out. That's okay because the nice thing about fishing in the spring, for the most part, is that uh, is that, that usually you get on the water early so that you can sit and wait for 11 a.m. Sometimes even you sit around and wait for noon before anything happens. So it's a perfect day, super, super light wind, high sun, and I'm excited to watch my bobber go down. setup that we're using super short leader uh, so basically I've got from my floating line quick release strike indicator I've only got about six feet down to a barrel swivel from my barrel swivel I've got about 18 inches of tippet and then down to my chronomid the barrel swivel is pretty optional in this shallow of water uh, really doesn't matter all that much because you don't really need it that badly to get the fly down when fish are only cruising in you know four to eight or nine feet of water Been out for a few hours now. Overall fishing has been quite good. Been into maybe a dozen fish or so, nothing really big. So I'm just kind of pulling anchor, poking around. Sometimes uh, a lot of the time you'll find like different age classes of fish will actually congregate together. So a lot of times if you can find some bigger fish uh, in, in a certain area of the lake, a lot of times you're gonna find more of them. I'm excited because we're gonna go keep we're gonna continue on this this uh, hunt in the shallow water. This is definitely one of my favorite times of the year. is is right at the start of the of the lake fishing season because it's just so nice after sitting inside all year, uh, just to be out and and watching the indicator go down. Best fly of the day so far, definitely, 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 has been a really small, uh, just the old standard black and red. Uh, number 18 2x long with a white bead water still a little bit dirty so the white bead shows up really well uh, we're just kind of cleaning up the turnover here so that white bead kind of stands out and uh, draws them in makes it easy for them to see this is the one we were looking for huge mistake people make is uh, reeling down too close to the fish puts way too much on that hook I see a lot of fish get broken off and you see a lot of uh, hooks get actually bent open uh, when when you get close to the net oh this is a pretty girl <laughs> they do not get much better than that Perfect, perfect. 
Well, somebody hit the light switch. I think it's time to go home, but today was a stellar day of trout fishing super super shallow water and just it, it's so refreshing to get back on the water after a really long winter setup i was using today obviously my go-to still water setup i've talked about this in a few videos scott flex 966 the raw cimarron 2 and the sa amp smooth a nadro still water indicator an all-around spectacular day on the water i look forward to sharing more with you this season and I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Fly Fish University TV. If you enjoyed what you saw here, you can subscribe and head to flyfishuniversity.com. I'd love to see you on the other side.